Hello, fellow vapors. How are you doing today? So, what I have for review is the Kensei, Kensei RTA by Vandy Vape. I know other people have reviewed this before, but it's my first RTA review. So, whoop! Okay, so I got the blue one. There are other colors that you can get as well. If you look here, it says Kensei right there. And this all comes apart. These are your big ass kidney holes that you fill with e juice. This drip tip does come off. It's just giving me a hard time right now. Sometimes I gotta use a fingernail. Alright, like I said, the drip tip comes off, so you can use any 810 Delrin drip tip. And, as you can see, I have the bubble glass on here, which holds 4.5 milliliters of juice. And then you have your regular glass replacement tube, which I believe holds 3.5. Okay, and you also have your 510 drip tip adapter. So you would stick this right where the Delrin one goes, and then you put your 510 in there. On top of that, okay, so you have your user manual in all different kinds of languages. Languages that include, but not limited to, English, French, German, and Danish. No, not the pastry. Alright, then we got this bag of goodies. We have an Allen wrench, we have a little screwdriver, uh, we have the other part of the 510 drip tip adapter. We have some screws and we have this little metal piece which I want to show you. The reason I went into the box before finishing up explaining this is in order to take off, take apart the rest of this tank, we need this little key looking thing like this. Right, and then we just put it in these kidney holes, and then we just turn it, turn it, and turn it, and then that comes off, and then your glass comes off. So this is very easy to clean. This is your chimney, and as you can see here, it has juice flow control, which is this upper part right here. Since the glass is off, it'll be easier if I just do it this way. So. <clears throat> Things are going to pain because it's all moist. <clears throat> this is why my sample box rag comes in handy. Especially when my fingers are a little... There we go. A little oily. Alright, so as you can see here, it's open. And then it's closed. Oh. Okay, so this is your chimney, which is also comes fully off, so you can clean it. Alright, and I do have a build on here, as well as some coils. So there's that. It's got a nice uh, velocity style deck. It's got four screws. Very nice. I love the airflow on this. Can't really see it because my cotton's in the way. But it's like a honeycomb type of airflow. And if you look here, it's very easy to wick. Very easy to wick. And when the mod's all together, you can also adjust the airflow. It's a bit of a pain though. But you basically. Well, I can't really do it when it's like this. So, let's put it back together. So we go. Chimney. Okay. And then we do glass. 
And then we do this metal doohickey. I find it's easier if you just place it right on there. And then you just use the key to tighten it. Oh, shoot. Sometimes a little bit of a pain. Just give me a moment here, guys. Always remember, too, that just like with a regular sub-ohm coil, uh, that you prime these ones, too. Where's this thing back together? It can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Not gonna lie. Okay, so now we finish tightening it with the key. My hands are getting all oily. The pain's are vaping. Your fingers get all oily. That's why we always have a jizz rag handy. I can't be the only one that calls it that, can I? Might be, though. Alright, so I like to wipe it off. Okay, now that's there. I personally like the 810 Delrin drip tip. But that's what it looks like when it's all put back together. Nice little tank. And then if you just want to get to the build, you just unscrew the bottom like so. And voila. So I'm going to prime this up. If you guys just give me a moment and bear with me here. And I'll let you know how it vapes. I will be using the Naked 100 um, All Melon, which is uh, watermelon, cantaloupe, and uh, honeydew. So we just prime it up a little bit, drip on the coil, drip a little bit on the cotton. Not too much because your tank will send immediate flow of e-juice down in there. The cotton's trying to run away. And this is very easy to wick. That is something I do like about it. Very easy to build on. Another pro. Um, I don't like the airflow. Um, and then the juice flow. It turns the same way you would turn it to take this off of here. Or to take it off of your device that you have it on. Which I will be putting this on my Vupu. Always make sure your juice flow is closed. So, you, like I mentioned, you would turn it the same way as if you were trying to remove the deck so that it looks like that. So you don't see any cotton. And then we just fill it up. Now, does it leak? If it is not wicked properly, meaning it has too little cotton, or you don't thread your cotton beforehand, yes, it does leak. But as long as you comb through your cotton and it's it's thin enough to where it just lines up the way you saw I had mine, then you will not have any leakage. Also, you have to be careful, too, uh, when you put on the top part, because this way makes the juice flow open. So, what I like to do is I like to hold the glass and then put on hold that. Hold the glass and then just go like this. That way the juice flow doesn't open while I'm screwing it on there, so it still gets that vacuum seal that all tanks need. Alright, so then, like I mentioned, so let me go this way. And we open it up, and look, we got bubbles. See, that's a good sign. It means it's wicking up nicely, which is good. 
All right, now like I mentioned, this bottom one to change the airflow. It's such a pain in the ass. I can't seem to get it for you guys, but trust me, the airflow is adjustable. It's just a super mega huge pain in the ass. It's not working for me for some fucked up reason. Um, another con is due to how the juice flow opens up and how it closes up. I've actually had it before where it accidentally, I did it a little too much in that same direction where you remove the bottom and remove it off the mod and everything else to where juice kind of got everywhere. Yeah. So I'm not a fan of that. I would have liked to have seen um, an easier airflow control because as you can see I couldn't even get it to not be wide open. I vape it wide open anyway so that's not a huge problem for me but if you're that type of person that doesn't like airflow wide open on your rebuildables then you're probably not going to like that it's such a pain in the ass to turn it. Um, I used to give it a few minutes to fully bubble and wick and all that good stuff. Juice flow is, is smoothly, is smooth, but I don't like how it turns that, that same way you would remove that bottom part to get to the deck. Because if you turn it too much, then you got juice everywhere. That's a con for me, uh, personally. Um, everything else about this I like. I like that it holds almost 5 milliliters of e-juice. I like how easy the deck is to build on. And it's a very pretty deck. It's nice gold on there. And it's, it's very big. And the airflow is very nice. Um, I love the drip tip. And I love the whole color of it. The whole bubble glass. I love it. Uh, let me turn my mod on here. And I will show you guys how it vapes. Yes, it is a new coil. And it looks like we're at 0.40 ohms, which is good. That's what it should be at. That is some good flavor. Holy crap. Another con, too, is sometimes I will have to, uh, use my phone in order to know if it's wide open or not there we go bubbles 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 as you can see it has clouds for hours or days or whatever you want to call it very good cloud production very good flavor um, that Aegis is good anyway, even better in this tank. And if you're wondering what I'm doing while I'm going, it's called purging your coil. It heats it up so it's more even when you actually vape it in. So it's not like you go, and then you gotta suck for like five, very mental though. So it's not like you gotta suck for like five seconds to get a good hit. You just purge it and you can you only have to suck really for like two seconds. Or one and a half seconds. And you get awesome flavor every time you puff on it. Just doing that so you guys can see the clouds. I, I love this thing. There are things I don't like about it. Would I recommend it as a first time RTA? Yes and no. Um, yes, because it's easy to build on. No, because someone who's brand new to rebuildables and stuff like that, um, they're, they're going to make mistakes. They're going to accidentally turn it and then juice is going to go everywhere. Um, not that all newcomers would do that. 
but I was a newcomer when I first started using this. Um, I'm almost like a pro now. <laughs> Uh, my husband asks me for help all the time, and I'm more than happy to oblige uh, the decks on his RTAs, which I'll be reviewing at a later date. Uh, they're much smaller. I do like the bigger build deck so that you can build all kinds of stuff, because the coils I have on here are 3 millimeters, uh, which is a pretty common um, build. So yeah, I, I would recommend it in that sense if you've been building for a while. And you want something that has really great flavor and is easy to build on and stuff like that, you know, in case you build those really crazy, crazy looking coils, um, then yeah, I would recommend it in that sense. Uh, first time rebuilding though, I would not recommend it because there are some hinky things with this particular RTA. Now I know it's an older RTA and everything else, so I know they most definitely probably have improved. Uh, so far from what I've seen though, Vandy Vape does a really great job uh, with their RTAs. Um, also, the other two, uh, I do like one of them over the other one, but I'll go over that in another video. I'm not even sure why I'm talking about that. Now would I go out and buy it again? Yeah, I would. Because it's got great flavor. I mean, granted, the Valerian has really phenomenal flavor, but the coils don't last long. That is the biggest con. The Kaleido 120, the flavor is really good. Cloud production, not so great, but it has a nice throat hit if that's what you're looking for. This has like the both the best of both worlds. You can build, so I mean, if your cotton like burns or something like that, or it gets blech, or it doesn't really taste that good anymore, all you do is you, you know, tip the tank upside down, take the bottom off, redo the cotton and when I was first trying this out I did it I want to say three times before I had to change the coils themselves so that's not bad that's about two weeks worth of vaping almost two weeks worth of vaping before I had to change the coils out and that's a lot better than some of these sub ohm tanks that are out there if you want to delve into uh, rebuilding I would recommend it because ultimately it's a money saver like for instance, this coil master box cost me like ten bucks, and it comes with sixty. There are ten in each one of these, and I'm only just finishing up the first one, so yeah, it's the last a really long time. Uh, cotton you might have to buy every now and again, um, but I'm still using the cotton bacon. I'm not even a quarter of the way through it, and I've been. Uh, using the rebuildables for a little while now if you guys have been watching my videos so yeah I would recommend rebuilding it is a money saver versus you know the ten dollars for two valerian coils you know I mean five dollars a coil basically I could get sixty pre-made coils for that price so it definitely is a money saver so if you're the type of person that doesn't like wasting money on coils then I would definitely recommend getting um, an RTA or an RDA. Um, the difference is RTA is a tank, just like the sub ohms are, but you rebuild on it. And then the RDAs is for dripping. That's what I use in my sample box or e-juice taste test review videos that I do for you guys. But yeah, flavor, just phenomenal flavor. I love it. Um, so yes, I would buy it again, and I do love how it comes with the 510 uh, drip tip adapter, so that if you don't like the wider bore drip tip, like my husband doesn't, um, you can use a 510, which is on most um, sub-ohm tanks from what I've seen, like the Valerian uses a 510, a uh, little connector thing, which you, you, if you had a Valerian drip tip you wanted to use, you could use that instead if you wanted to. Or just any old 510 drip tip. I believe just about any 810 drip tip, bleh, any 810 drip tip will work on that tank. So, ultimately, uh, it's, it's definitely a great tank. I would recommend it for people who have been building for a while. For newcomers, no. But, I will, I will let you guys know on the other ones, and I'll let you know which one I would recommend for someone just starting out. So, as always, thank you for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the little bell if you want to get a notification every time I upload a new video. And, um... 
I got nothing else for you. I'll have a links down in the description like always. Links everywhere. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, always make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think of the of the Kensei RTA. What you like about it. What you don't like about it. If you agree with me. If you don't agree with me. You know, whatever. I don't bite. I usually always comment back if I have, you know, the free time to do so. As, um... Vapor, Chevy Vapor Clouds will tell you. He comments most of, most of my videos. I do respond back as soon as I can if I have the free time, which, I mean, I'm going to be starting my job, so free time probably won't be all that often. But I will uh, get back to your comments, definitely. Communication is key in all aspects of life. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. <laughs> so, as always, guys, remember, smoking kills, vaping heals. So let's vape on, because life's too fucking short. See you on the next video.